Hello and welcome back everyone to The Powder Toy and thank you Alvin for the $20 super chat. Highly appreciate it man. Hail Vupiri indeed. See you just got in the beginning of the video. Alright today we're going to be making a space station-ish. We're gonna make the components for a space station and maybe we'll make it into an actual space station. But we are going to begin by creating an oxygen generator. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna generate oxygen. And we'll put it over on the left. Actually, I can just make it in the center and move it later. Oh god, that's awful. Alright. So let's go ahead and do this. Why iron? I don't know. Alright. Does that work? Oh, that does work! Oh, thank you. Very nice. I don't- I don't know why there's a difference, but, uh... That looks good to me. Okay, let's move this more into the area where it's actually under the thing. And... we'll just put a really long line here. Very nice. Oh, I'm awful and I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up again. Oh, I have Spark selected, that's why. Good job, Spike. Let's go up here. And then we will get a pipe. And we will pipe these. Of course, that's messed up. It wouldn't do it properly. Oh, actually, that's not what I want. I want this one to go out this way. I actually do have a use for the hydrogen, so... We're not going to just be wasting it. Ah, oxygen will go up here. Nice. Very good. Open this up. And then, uh, open up the ends of these. Hmm. Very nice. The pipes are gonna go bloop, and look at that! They carry their respective gases. Oh, okay, let's put a lot of water in here. And then, uh, let's get it running and see how it looks. Throw a battery here temporarily. Uh-oh, I think it has to be touching the top for this to work. All right, um... Hmm. Yes, that is a slight issue. I guess we will grab this. Nope, nope, that all seems happy. All right, we did it. So we got this iron plate on the side. We got distilled water. And now with our friend Battery, we're going to plop the battery here. And we're creating hydrogen and oxygen. Look at that. Now they're each going to get carried into their respective areas. But, here's something special. We want the hydrogen to go into a very specific chamber. Over here. Which is going to be nice and thick because of what we're going to be doing in it. We're going to burn it. We can create more electricity by burning the hydrogen in a big box. Now, we will insulate it to keep the heat. Let's go ahead, grab insulation, throw it down. Welcome, new person. Make sure to subscribe. Cool people subscribe. Let's grab the insulation and throw it onto here. Pull it over here, pull it over here, and put it here, just for safety's sake. Alright, now the hydrogen, the hydrogen is being thrown into this box over here, where it's just going to chill, uh, but we're going to make it chill a little bit less. Oh, thank you for saying good afternoon. My afternoon is great. Everything is going wrong, but at least my channel's growing, so as long as that's happening, I'm going to stay positive. <laughs> Alright, 
We're gonna pull a cable across here. And we're gonna pull it up. It's not really the center, but it doesn't really matter that much. It's just a sparker. We're gonna put the sparker in like this. Grab that insulation again, just to prevent this from causing major issues because the entire thing is, you know, metal. And then that sparker should spark the hydrogen and get it to burn. That That's the hope, at least. I'm not sure if that'll actually work. <laughs> so... Possibly. I think there's a way to do it, though. Uh, Tess... Tesla... Mmm, Tesla coil. Yes, if we put that here... Okay, it kind of sets the box. Um, I can use ceramic, though, to just protect this. Okay, but I think that should be capable of setting the hydrogen on fire, which is obviously the goal here. Really? It needs to be thicker? Alright. Thicker. Will it burn it? <laughs> uh, maybe it won't burn it? E-T-R-D- oh, electrode. Electrode. Oh, plasma arcs. Yes. Uh, you gotta do two of them, right? Uh. Oh! Shoot! Well, that was great until it wasn't. Okay, I need to prevent it from killing itself. Um... We will protect this with ceramic and prey. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> well, that was effective. Um, it burned some of the insulation away. Uh-oh. That's <laughs> generally not a good thing. Um, I think it actually broke a lot. Yeah, it broke a lot. Uh, hmm. Uh, temporarily, let's cut this off. Just gonna fill up with hydrogen, that's fine. Look at all the oxygen we're producing. Guacamole. Alright. So, over here, we just have to do some slight repairs. Not, not awful. Throw the insulation back on, boom. And I think we should have the hydrogen come in here. Um, I think it makes much more sense. So let's go ahead and grab pipe and make that a reality. I hope this just works. Connecting pipe to pipe almost never works out well. It's a little bit larger. Uh, that's not the end of the world. Hmm, okay. And then if I remove this brick... Add oxygen into the burning chamber. No, but the oxygen has to support the astronauts, man. They need to breathe. <laughs> they need to breathe. All right, there we go. Now the burning makes a lot more sense. And it doesn't seem to be breaking the pipe, which is nice. All right. Cool, so the heat in here is really high. 
And that is great, because we're going to build... Uh, we're going to use that to create electricity, so heat good, at least right now. One other thing we're going to do is just to inc decrease the chances of something going horribly wrong. I'm going to put some fan here that just pulls this way. Oh! Wow, would you look at that? That made it work a bit better. Um, unfortunately, we're out of water again. We're going to have to figure out a way to deal with the water supply. I think that's going to be the limitation of this, is the amount of water that we can get into the system. And there's something strange going on. What is blocking? Store oh, water vapor. Oh no, it's getting too hot over here. I knew that was going to happen. Um... How are we going to deal with water vapor? Hmm. See, that's not good. That's not good. Not having the uh, water vapor be... I want to do some sort of passive cooling to be a little bit less cheaty than just spawning in liquid nitrogen. Um... Obviously, we need some sort of solution for the, uh, issue of water vapor. Cooling this box down can't be too bad. Um... Why is heat getting over here in the first place? Uh, let's take a quick look at the heat display. Oh, it's being carried by the... Really? No. Really? That tiny bit? Ah, uh, well, this area here is actually kind of warm. Um, I do have a solution that I think will fix the problem. All right, so we're, we're making progress, all right? We need to cool it down, though. Um, we do need to cool this down. So we're going to go ahead and use rapid heat conductor uh, because that's going to give us the ability to get it cold the fastest. And we're going to bring that rapid heat conductor and make a pad of it. We'll actually do a thicker pad of it. Through the bottom here. All right. So that'll pull the heat away, which it's pulling actually quite a bit of heat away. Um, and now we have to make this actually let heat out. Um, temporarily, I'm just gonna make a radiator <laughs> without any liquid or anything. Um, I don't know if this actually works, but hey, why not try? If it, it has ambient heat simulation, so I'm assuming it would work. Um, not fancy. I wouldn't trust it on your thread ripper, but oh boy, I can't. I can't draw. Use hot sauce. Use no. Using freeze powder and stuff is cheating. All right, the lots of fins method always works when it comes to cooling things down. Worst case scenario, it doesn't. <laughs> then we just designed something else. All right, so let's do a view on the heat display. So these are warming up the fins. Even a closed loop with coolant isn't super useful, though, because the coolant needs to transfer the heat somewhere. And I believe the only place we have to really transfer the heat is into the air. There are still more things we can do, though. Um, I still have some poor design here. Like, we can try even harder to prevent leakage from this section of the craft um, by doing this. Because we're getting a lot of heat just pouring through from over here.
especially like through here. So trying to block it off at least a little bit might do us a little bit of good. Let's see, this is at 120. Wow, it's heating up more. Hmm. Well, it's getting worse, not better. Interesting. All right. We are getting closer, I guess, but we're going to have to solve the heat problem. I don't think there's any way for us to solve this without solving the heat problem. Um, it seems like we're getting actually a lot leaking through here. Oh! Oh, that helped quite a bit, actually. Interesting. All right. So, here's what's up. We're gonna pause this for now. I'm going to go, like, exist. Um, right now, we do have something that's capable of splitting water into oxygen and hydrogen, separating it out, and burning the hydrogen. Next time, I want to get a cooling system set up for the uh, cool side of it, and then I want to get electricity produced from the burning of the hydrogen. But, with that, Thank you all for watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because a lot of you haven't. Alright, so, with that, thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and please do not forget, before you go, go ahead if you want to make suggestions, give me tips, you know, just casually talk with us, you can go over to Discord. Discord.gg slash spook vooper. That's it. Spook vooper is fun. Government, economy, lots of people. Very exciting. I don't have much time though, so thank you all for watching. Peace out.